Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 19th December, the Ministry of Defense has released an RFI to procure 155mm 52 caliber towed gun system. The army wants the gun to operate on all terrains including desert, plains and mountains up to 5000 meter altitude. The weight of gun system is preferably less than 15 tons but it's not the criteria of rejection but a preference. The existing in-service GTVs should be able to tow these guns on existing road and track network which is existed on the mountains, high altitude areas and desert terrain in northern and western border. Hence the weight of gun system is preferred to be less than 15 tons. The fire control system of the gun should have day and night direct or indirect firing capability. The fire control system should be compatible with Project Shakti. Shakti is the brain of Indian artillery and it's important to understand if you want to know how Indian artillery operates. Shakti is fully digitized, integrated and networked artillery combat and control system developed for Indian Army. It is a network of military-grade tactical computers automating and providing decision support for all operational aspects of artillery functions from core down to the battery level. The major function of Shakti are technical fire control for accurately delivering the firepower at right time and place, tactical fire control for optimum utilization of available resources, fire planning, deployment management to ensure timely and speedily deployment to achieve maximum fire densities at critical area and last is operational logistics management now let's talk about the possible contender for this requirement since only indian firms are allowed to participate in this competition as per dap 2020 and the 155 mm 52 caliber towed artillery gun is an item that figures in the first negative import list so the israeli ethos and other foreign vendors cannot participate now there are many defense enthusiasts who are also saying that atax won't be able to qualify the requirement which is not correct if you read rfi it clearly says that 15 ton is preferable but not a mandatory criteria therefore atax can still participate now since this is just an rfi and the army will get the details of system offered by various vendors and then they will compare and evaluate. When RFP for this requirement will be released, then Indian Army will clearly list down the technical criteria for selection based on which it could be said if ATAX will qualify for this requirement or not. The decision will be with Indian Army if it wants lighter gun or ATAX with higher firepower. The massive firepower and range of ATAX is because of its 25 litre chamber where any comparable gun has only 23 litre chamber. ATAX has magazine capacity of 5 to 6 rounds against the usual 3 rounds. These are the few factors apart from battery engine which adds to the weight of gun. The gun currently weighs around 18 ton. However, the bigger chamber allows ATAX to fire ammunition with more charge which in turns provide more velocity and range to the ammunition. This is the reason why ATAX is able to fire up to a range of 48 km while other artillery guns can fire at a maximum range of 40 km. The difference of 8 km is huge which keeps the artillery regiment 8 km behind the enemy's artillery and literally untouchable by the enemy's artillery gun. The second important point to note from RFI is that Army has mentioned that the in-service gun towing vehicle should be able to tow this artillery. In September 2022, the Ministry of Defense has given acceptance of necessity for 252 6x6 gun towing vehicle which will be used for towing 155mm artillery gun and air defense radars. These GTVs will be able to tow 20 ton guns and radar. ATAX, which weighs 18 ton, can be easily towed by the new GTVs. So, it would be quite early to comment if ATAX will qualify or not, and we will have to wait for RFP to know the exact technical qualifications. 
द स्ट्रॉन्ग कंटेंडर फॉर दिस रिक्वायरमेंट हाउ एवर आर भारत फिफ्टी टू एंड धनुष फिफ्टी टू द एडवांस वेपन्स एंड इक्विपमेंट्स इंडिया लिमिटेड हैज अपग्रेडेड द हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी फाइव एम एम फोर्टी फाइव कैलिबर धनुष इन टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी फाइव एम एम फिफ्टी टू कैलिबर गन विच कैन नाउ फायर अप टू फोर्टी टू किलोमीटर्स द गन वेज लेस दैन फोर्टीन टनस एंड इज कंसिडर द लाइटेस्ट होविड सर इन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी फाइव एम एम कैटेगरी This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.